with old maps we travel miles on down the road bring us to places where history calls home take us back in time to lands we never knew wonder how life had been for someone like you Tales that are told by the people that we meet Stories of the past Some bittersweet Never knowing what you'll buy Or even if you will Never knowing what the earth Is willing to reveal I think I just got, got my first coin. It kind of looks like one, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's at the bottom of my hole, which is a good seven inches down. Here it is, the bottom of the hole. I don't want to stick my hands in there. It's cold. <laughs> oh, come on. Just gotta say, <laughs> it's not a coin, but you can see why that would have fooled me, right? Yeah. Down pretty deep, so I don't know. This doesn't look that old either. It's got a pair of cufflinks, but it's not. But anyway. Okay, so just after digging that, uh, what I believe to be a large fanny, which wasn't, I ended up getting this. You can see it in the plug. But yeah, there we go. I'll extract this one. You got a penny? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to say about a King George. It is a silver. It's Queen Elizabeth, but it's a silver one. Super old. Hey, is that a coincidence? I think I got a 61 dime. 61 dime, and I don't have my little magnifying knee glass. I do have it, but I don't have it on me. But yeah, it's a Queen Elizabeth. Yours a penny? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Here we're transported back to the 1950s. This is Doug's father. Doug's Aunt Margaret in the background amongst all those turkeys. This is a view of the house today and this is what it looked like in the 40s and that's little Aunt Margaret in the doorway. This a uh, first old relic from the front of the house. I just got one signal and uh, dug down about uh, four inches beside that tree right there. End up with a dog tax. Looks like 19, 1931 dog tax, Gainesboro. So this belonged to uh, somebody's uh, dog way back then, back in the day. So this is 1931 and they're kind of cool. First relic from the front of this property. So I got another target down at uh, about three inches deep. Um, I was kind of being very careful because if you can see right there, there's a uh, that's a telephone line that comes straight through here. So I was being very gentle with this hole to make sure I didn't cut their phone line. Um, so it wasn't a phone line because I was pretty, like I said, I was very careful on digging this hole. I ended up getting this. It's kind of cool. I think it might be maybe an old piece of a curtain rod, but it's very heavy. So it's definitely made of, uh, it's probably made of brass, but another little artifact. It's pretty, pretty well. I like it actually, it's pretty, pretty nice shape. It almost looks like a little bishop from a chess piece. But, okay, this signal wasn't very deep. It's only two inches right next to this, right next to this big tree. And you can see it there in the dirt. I already got it out. It's a large penny. Yep. Whoops. See, I already got it out. It's a large penny. It's a little green. I'll rub it on my pants and see if I can actually see what it is. But yeah, it's a green one. Figure St. Patrick's Day was yesterday. I'm making a green penny today. Looks like it might be a Vicky large penny at that. 
No, it's a king on there. I see a king. If it's, if it's Edward or if it's a uh, Edward or a George. I can't really see too good. I'll show you on the close up what it is. There you go, large penny. Okay, so I got a, another signal not too far from where that uh, large penny was. Just about here. I got it out of the plug, don't mind the sniffling. It's cold again today. Right. So, uh, here we go. Let's see what this could be. I'm hoping it sounded like a coin. I got another plug right here. Oh, look at that. It is. It's a little tiny penny. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. Indian. It's a real thin Indian, but it's an Indian. It's an Indian, yes. Wasn't getting much until we came to this uh, area. It's a dirty Indian. I had to do some, uh, some of my gene rubbing. Whoops. I almost dropped it. All right, I can see a date. It's 18 something. I'll show you a close-up. It's definitely 18-something. I'll show you the close-up and then you know, we'll get a better view of it. I'll clean it up. Sweet! An Indian head. Not far from the large penny. I'm hopeful there might be some more stuff in this small area here. Alright, so I just dug up another large penny down at, uh, well, this wasn't very deep, but about four inches. I don't see it. Oh, and you got a Chevrolet. Hey, check that out. Show it. Yeah. Nice! I like those little shots. That's a good one. Again, Mr. Artifacts. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's, whoops, sorry. That's a nice one there, Ted. Thanks. There's something else in here too. That's pretty cool. Uh, ooh, hey! <laughs> that was the one I threw away. <laughs> you got this out in the field, right? No, just got it over there. Oh, well I got one just like it in the other field. Eight inches down. Oh wow. I wonder what those things are. What kind of spike it's for? I think it maybe uh, goes on top of the bar in the weather vane or something. Oh, that's exactly a roof thing. Oh, yeah. man. Maybe. And I, and I, I no, I, I think you're right. And I chucked one out. Yeah. I didn't think it was anything great, so I threw it away. <laughs> I could have had a weather vane thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let me see what my penny is all right. All right, ready. I know it's a large penny. Just don't know how old. Ha! <laughs> you know, it's funny. I gave him, I gave him a 1906 today, right? Yeah. And I got a 1906 back. Huh, so, karma. Yeah, really. 1906. Pretty sweet. So, a little bit of a little coiny thing here. We got a coin thing going on in this area. Gonna muscle right in. Yeah, muscle right yeah. in. No, friendship doesn't count right now. <laughs> you know what's gonna I'm happen go, now. I go in, I'm coming in swinging. <laughs> You're gonna get some real detectorists making some comments on that one, <laughs> right, guys? No. What? No. What would you do in that instance? Uh, I let him do it because he's a newbie. I want him to find stuff. Oh yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Hey, I call you over all the time. Say, hey, get over here. This is where the stuff is. I so. Call you over too. Plus, I want to see your nail coil. See if it goes any deeper oh. than what's here. Even though these are all shallow. Oh, how, how deep? Uh, three inches. Oh really? Yeah. That the large penny goes down That's about two got, and a half. Right. That's what I got my Indian head. Earlier. Over oh, really? that? Yeah. No, it was shallow. Three, uh, maybe five inches. <laughs> if you notice in the background where Ted is sitting, you'll see this. There's something wrong with that picture. With what's behind him. It just doesn't look right. Right? I agree with you. That does not look right. The dimensions and. Tell me you know, you're talking about the building to my left. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we are. The building's actually sunk down two feet. Um, it's kind of odd, and if you see the building, it's sitting right in front of the house, right? It's kind of a cool little, well, the building's actually a garage, an old garage, right? So, yeah, it's kind of neat. I don't know if everyone else is having these problems. You gotta keep resetting them every now and then. Alright, so I detected a target down at four inches and it's right here in my sidewall. Right here. Those 
fuck this up together. I want to see what it is. It's another, well, hopefully it's another Indian then. That'd be sweet. And the color of it makes me believe it is. <laughs> it is another Indian head. Yeah, it's another Indian head. That's two Indian heads. Sweet. Somebody liked their Indian heads here. Yep. So it was a little Indian head spill. The other one was like not very far away. I don't have on me, Ted. Spectacles. Spectacles. It's like 1897. No. 1907. What year was yours? 1906. Or 1907. Oh, I think in 1907. Oh, yeah. yeah. 1907 today. There we go. Nice Indian head. Not too shabby. All right, Ted. What'd you get? I got a large penny. 1887. What number was that on the Garrett? It was a 67. Hmm, nice. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm happy about that. How deep? Four inches, maybe. So it wasn't too deep at all. Nice. Yeah. Once again, Margaret makes an appearance. This photo was taken in 1948. It's the green barn you see in the video. And the same tree exists today, where she was standing, probably right where this minion was. Yeah. I do like those uh, large scents. Yes, and today you've gotten two of them. <laughs> two of them, one Indian. Yes. All right. Sweet. And some junk. And That's a couple cool things. Uh, yeah. Uh, something I think from the top of a weather vane, I believe. Um, but other than that, <sighs> and I checked mine away. At least I think that's what it is. I don't know. Yep. We'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just wrapped up from a uh, from a good day. We had a quite excellent a, day. Yeah, we had a few nice finds, and uh, we had some really good conversation today with uh, with Doug, and uh, we learned a lot about that area. Yeah. He's so, very knowledgeable. He's a bit of a history, local history buff, which is uh, kind of. Came in, came in handy. We had a really good time, and uh, the one field was a tough eat with all the bullets. Again, right? Bullets. Yeah. Uh, but it turns out that there's the property was, I guess, once owned by uh, a cop, and he had SWAT guys there practicing and maneuvers and all that kind of stuff. And, so that's how we ended up with all those. Uh, Both well, there's different types of ammo, right? Right, yeah. Apparently they all came in uh, by helicopter and got dropped off and... And did their thing, yeah. Right. Well, today, um, got a handle for something, I don't know. Maybe a farm implement, implement or something, I'm not really sure. Crash a couple, a couple uh, old bullets. Um, Back of a clock, an old pocket watch, I guess, on a clock. Um, got an old, you can't really see it, but an old ornate button. It's got mother, mother of pearl in the center. Uh, some fairly modern pennies here, 1963 to 79, and a, I don't know if that's a 73. Uh, Indian head penny. From 1907, a couple of Canadian large cents. This one's from uh, what is that? 1916, and this one's from 1887. Uh, busted rains guide, and I think this is from the top of um, a weather vane, I believe. We're not sure on that, but uh, it's as best as we could come up with so far. And a couple just round. I don't know what they are. You can find these a lot. And that's about it. I own a bottle. Uh, it doesn't say anything on it. Um, I don't think. Nope. So, and that's that. Not a very old bottle. So. Okay, here's a little roundup of our uh, things that we got today. 
Um, if you can look here, I've got a uh, turn out two large pennies. I've got the uh, silver dime. And 1961, I think. I didn't get a close up of it. I think I did. 1961. The two Indian head pennies, 1888 and the uh, 1907. The dog tag from uh, 1937. Uh, looks like a gear from. It looks like a gear from a watch or uh, from, a, from a clock. And uh, fired. I don't think it's a musket ball, but I think it's probably a butt, uh, an old bullet. And then some of the bullets from the field, I didn't bring them all because there were so many of them. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then I got this funky looking thing which I thought was a large penny, so I don't know what this was. But, yeah. So anyways, we, uh, did, we did really well today. Yeah, it was right? fun. It was fun. Yep. It was, uh, uh, again, nice to get out and get some exercise and all that good stuff. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be back at it in a couple days and go back out there, uh, hopefully, and uh, maybe give it another go. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's things will dry up um, yeah it's, that's it's, where we seem to be fighting that a lot so yeah and we're fighting wonky signals because of it yeah right. so, yeah thank you very much for watching once again and uh, anything you need to comment on please do comment because we have no clue sometimes when we have stuff and we do research but we're not always successful no nope, that's true <laughs> right. okay talk to you later all right have a good bye one bye. have a good night and uh, please subscribe and make the comments all right uh, we really appreciate it thank you very much bye bye all right bye Found that dog tag. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. So that's her story. I'm sick of it. I was just thinking that.